I'm not even coming back on the internet. Morning, I'm completely off track this whole entire week, y'all. I'm sorry, not sorry, but welcome back to my channel. It is going to be an epic week of us getting our kids back to school. My kids, I don't know about y'all, but my kids have been driving me crazy, okay? Absolutely bad shit, so I cannot be more excited to send them off. So I do have like a ton of errands to run today, so let's go run some errands, get some food, we're gonna meal prep, and we're gonna get back on track. So the next errand we're gonna run is going to be to get the emblems on the kid shirts. Now I know I'm late as fuck to this, I'm late. I really should have did this emblem thing like maybe last week, but story of my life girl story of, yeah did I tell y'all my apartment complex that I was living in for two years is charging me four grand in damages mind you the bulk of it is they're saying that they had to redo the flooring and the wall there was a hole there was one hole in the wall it was a little big but it was not even like a hole that went through the wall it was like it wasn't that bad and it was definitely not no fucking two grand and then the floor there was like maybe two boards that needed to be replaced but you see the problem is that I should have done all of this um I should have did this before I left like I could have asked him to come in and fix the hole in the wall I could have asked him to come fix the floorings but I was just in such a state like I swear to you guys like I was just like not good for a while and barely functioning like functioning on like bare minimum yes I got it so I just picked up some cream cheese cupcakes. I'm not gonna lie, I've been eating, low-key eating bits of gluten for like the last week. I had Publix cake, and then I probably ate gluten when I went out, but I don't know what it was. So I'm waiting for symptoms to start. They actually start immediately. I start feeling nauseous. I start feeling like kind of like clammy and sweaty. My head starts like not hurting, but there's like a feeling in my head. So I know that's gluten and then I get the puffy eyes the next day which is like a symptom of like I think allergy of some sort but you know your girl I'm, I'm, I'm a masochist you know I love fucking pain I guess so y'all see that motherfucking line baby look at this line like who's gonna let me see something there has to be another place that I can pick let me see let me call the school and see if they have them. Hey, Mr. Donnie, um, is the is the PTA open today? The store? It should be, yes. Do you know if they have emblems? They do. Five dollars each. They for real? Mm -hmm. Let me find out how much they charge. I, I believe for emblems, they're four dollars each. But for them to be four dollars each times what six and to wait in that line, I'm not doing that. Fuck that. For six, actually, I'm gonna pay them six dollars. Fuck that. Let's go. So y'all know I came to do the um, get the emblems. They're having a whole meet and greet, child. A whole meet and greet. Hey yo. So I went home, got the kids. We're gonna do the meet and greet with the people's. I don't even have our supplies. It's at home, unlabeled. I was supposed to. You see this? You see? This is it. This is typical me. Typical me. Meet and greet. Here. He calls himself pushing it. We're gonna do this really. We have one more store to visit, and I swear to God, we're gonna go home and complete some hair stuff. This is my looking outside Austin. Spend the day with me. Be aggravated with me. I hope these kids are aggravating you just as much as they are aggravating me, okay? Because I can't wait for y'all to tell me. Give me some parenting tips. <laughs> oh, your kids are out of. Morning, y'all. 
so did not go to the gym last night this morning because I just I suck first day of school mommy is happy we are actually late I'm gonna get back on track okay give me about a week I'm gonna be back so this is gonna be the end of the video um I don't have any notes I don't know really what I want to say but I need a therapist I need I need some support some mental support I'm okay y'all and I'm, I'm, I'm saying this to you guys because I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are going through the similar things as I am you know whether you're a parent whether you're a caretaker whatever today's the first day of school for my kids um, I've been late gonna give you all a quick backstory on what ha has happened I wasn't sure where my kids were gonna go to school I was thinking of taking them out of the school I had no idea where they were gonna go I settled on a school that I thought would be good which was a good school and then kind of like chickened out at the last minute so I purchased all the wrong school supplies all the wrong school like um, uniforms and I this was like two or three weeks ago and then I had to return things, go and wait for um, their other things to come in, things like that. So I was late. And there, there's just like, it's just like, uh, it's just like a testament to where I've been the last, I'm going to say, five years. I have been in a perpetual loop of talking myself out. Of everything like my brain is constantly telling me you not gonna do that you can't accomplish that you're not good enough for that it's never gonna happen and then I believe it you know with the kids last night I truly and honestly had no reason not to this, this past two days Monday and Tuesday I had no reason not to do their hair get them like situated for school I wait to the last minute and I feel like a lot of it is just like based in worth I need a therapist I need a therapist I've eaten gluten for like last maybe week like intentionally eaten gluten I haven't worked out mind you my child had COVID as you guys seen but I'm negative for COVID thank God but no excuse no excuse I need to like I can't do this anymore I can't keep doing this and it's not about like losing weight it's really about like my life you know it's not even about like losing weight it's really about like my life like my livelihood number one I make excuses about going to work I make excuses about creating content I make excuses about everything and a lot of it is built in deep and rooted in like my sense of worthiness and I know that I know that because I've, I've been able to kind of like listen to the thoughts in my head about what's like what I believe I can accomplish. And when I'm listening, when I'm actively listening, yeah, it's a lot of beating myself up. I want to start my, my, my journey over again. I do. But I'm just like, I'm so like tired. I am tired. I'm tired of doing this. I'm tired of functioning on this level. I'm on antidepressants. I'm on anti-anxieties. Maybe they're just not right for me. Maybe I need something stronger. But no, I, I'm gonna. I'm lying. It. I. I stopped taking them. You see, I stopped taking them for like maybe a month, and I was inconsistent with taking them. So that could be playing a part of why I started slipping back into habits of just non-productiveness. But I don't know. I don't know everything is like a chore for me you know I feel like everything is a chore like I can't I guess I'm seeing all the steps involved instead of just thinking about that first step that was one of the things my therapist told me is like you are a hundred steps ahead think about that first step what needs to come first so I'm thinking about every step for everything and it's it's overwhelming I get overwhelmed easily I don't adjust to change very easily Like, I really want to just start completely over. And I know people aren't functioning like this normally. I know this is not a normal way to function. 
I'm starting to really believe and see that I'm extremely stressed, anxious. I wouldn't say depressed, maybe like mildly, like not like daily depression, but this has to be a word for it. Like I do struggle. I, I know I'm struggling with a lot of anxiety. A lot. And I think that's part of the reason why I procrastinate so much. I want to give myself permission to start over. I want to tell myself that I accept myself where I am right now. Where I am right now, I accept it. I'm about th five pounds heavier than the, the original video we came out with, which was at two or what, eight, seven. I'm about five pounds from that. I've regained everything. I've lost track completely, completely off track. We are not without hope, but there has to be some level of consistency, accountability. I can be consistent. It's just the eating that gets, it's, it's not even the eating. It's not even the eating. It's my stress because three weeks ago, I, I would say about the last month I've been off track. So about three and a half, four weeks ago, when I decided that I was going, when school started, the, the prospect of these kids having to change schools started to come up i started to feel anxiety and i and i didn't check it right then and there my eldest is also doing homeschool so a lot of things just started coming at me very fast and i just don't cope i go back to my regular coping which is food and i haven't really been eating bad i've just been not eating i've been like disordered eating so not eating anything until about like three in the afternoon and then being completely ravenous and just eating whatever a lot of snacking at night a lot of like snacking and it's not just me it's my whole family typically you know a lot of like just crap but something has got to give i say you guys i'm gonna get take a shower and get ready for the gym i'm tired of these excuses i'm tired of I'm just tired. I'm I'm so tired. I'm like almost contemplating not even coming back on the internet. Just like going and just like going away, but I I, I got to go. Mm.